I just wanted to talk about how important forgiveness is. I think it's a currency that we undervalue so greatly. Living in this world, someone is always going to do you wrong. You're always going to be disappointed, let down, or hurt by someone. That's just a part of life, and that's okay. That's an important part of life, actually, understanding other people's limits. You know, because we're all here on a journey, and not everyone is capable of the love or the emotions or the ability to see as you are, right? We cannot judge others through our own perception. You know, we, we can only see ourselves truly in others, you know? So it's like, you know, I am not who you think I am. You know, you are who you think I am. And I think that's powerful. And so when we forgive others, it's not that we're giving someone a free pass. We're allowing ourselves to get over it, to accept it, and to move on without any hurt in our soul, without carrying around pain and not nurturing the darkness and not nurturing the hurt and letting it go, letting it go back out into the universe from whence it came. We all have moments, all of, and I've been hurt so many times, but I always replaced that hurt with love, and I forgave myself for putting myself in a situation where I would be disappointed, where I would be hurt, because after being disappointed so deeply so many times by people whom I, I, I loved even to this day, or from whom I expected something, and, and I realized they're not capable of... of reciprocating, but that doesn't mean that I need to rage about it. I need to be angry about it because they're on their own path and they need to figure it out for themselves because when they hurt me, they hurt themselves. And that vibration, when you put out negative energy, when you hurt others, it just comes back to you in one way or another. So I believe that karmic justice exists. And it might not be as visible to you, or it might not be immediate and swift, but it's there because everything in nature is in balance and everything cycles. And what goes around comes around. That's just karma. It's undeniable for me. And maybe if you look closely and you trust, you'll see it too. And when enough time passes, sometimes I, I'm almost sorry that those people have to go through the hardships that they have to go to. And it's unrelated to me, but people make their own beds and they got to sleep in them. And they will at the right time realize if they've hurt someone or if they've been mistaken or wrong. I mean, what are we truly going to get if someone says, oh, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Like, is there, is there an, an award for that or do you feel better, you feel vindicated? And what does that vindication do? Does it truly put the fire out? Because are you going to let go? Or are you going to keep on revisiting the past and replaying those, those, those disappointing and sad or mad moments? There's no point to go back and visit dark places. And that's the wonderful thing about being human is that we don't need to live in the past. And of course, we don't need to live in expectation of the future either. This moment that is around us is innocent. It is naked. It is virgin. It is fresh and available and ready for us to, to engage in it and be here. Not be dragging threads from the past or trying to pull something out of the future. That future you will figure it out. 